We've now covered everything you need to create, launch, and sell your online course with Lifter LMS. So congratulations on making it this far and learning how to create a site with WordPress, how to add Lifter LMS to it, how to create a course, how to add a payment gateway and sell the course. There's a lot that we've covered that goes into building an application like we've done on top of WordPress in the quick start course. So take a second, give yourself a pat on the back. We've come really far in unlocking the power to distribute content on the internet and sell content, sell access, create memberships and courses and all of that awesome stuff. So now what we want to do is begin promoting our online course and getting other people integrated into the website, trying out our content, reading our blog posts, taking our courses and integrating into our system. So let's take a look at a few options for testing our online course website. These are a few tricks of the trade for testing your site as a user and seeing what things look like. The first one that I always recommend is using an incognito window or private browsing window in your browser to view your website. So I'm logged in as a website admin right now on, on my website. So you can see the black bar at the top indicates that of course I'm logged in as an admin. So things might look a little bit different to the user. So I'm going to copy my URL to my website and open up an incognito window in Chrome and head to my website here, jump over to my dashboard and I'm actually logged in as a student. Let me sign out. The nice thing about private browsing mode, uh, I think Safari calls it private browsing mode and Google Chrome, it's called the incognito window. This way I can have one tab where I'm logged out and one tab where I'm logged in as an admin. So I can tour my website as someone who's logged out while also editing my website as an admin in my other window. I do this all the time, jumping back and forth between window and window, making sure my user experience looks good, making sure I'm clicking on all the buttons, jumping into all the courses, making sure my access plans are showing up properly and all my free trial information is showing up, all that kind of stuff here. So I'll just navigate around, click into my courses, click into my memberships, jump onto my dashboard and try to find you know, a place that I shouldn't be able to go. For example, uh, this button, I think links over to lifterlms.com. So on your website, you might want to change that. So it's not linking over to Lifter LMS, but this is the kind of thing you learn with testing is I've got my budgeting category, make sure that works. That looks good. But yeah, this is a super useful tool is just the incognito window for clicking around. Another useful tool for testing is if I go to courses, view my course, in the upper right-hand corner, we'll see this option that says viewing as myself. Whenever you're viewing Lifter LMS content, you have this option at the top to view as a visitor or view as a student. Currently, I'm the website admin and I'm enrolled in this course, so I don't see the access plans as an option. Sometimes we get questions that say, hey, I can't view my access plans. I know I created an access plan because when I click edit course, I can see it here on the back end. There it is. But then I click view course and I can't see it. So up here at the upper right, I want to say view as a visitor. Let's see what a visitor would see when they view the page and there's the access plan. So in Lifter LMS, sometimes content can look different to a student than it looks to a visitor, than it looks to an admin, especially if you're working with tools like course visibility or enrollment visibility. You know, sometimes enrolled users are gonna see this block, but unenrolled users are not gonna see it. So using an incognito window or using the Lifter LMS option to switch who you're viewing as is very useful for making sure that our content is showing up to the right people. And a third thing that you'll wanna to do to test your website is create a free hidden access plan. That's sometimes a strategy I'll use where I'll go add new. This is my beta tester plan, and this one's gonna be free, but I make it hidden. So if I wanted a friend to test out my course for me, I would create the free access plan that's hidden from the front end. So when we're looking at the access plan section, we won't see the free plan because of course for the public, we want it to be paid. But for my uh, beta tester friend here, who's gonna test out my website, I wanna be able to provide them a link directly to the checkout where they can come in for free and check out my, my access. So I recommend those three ways of testing your website, incognito window, viewing the site as a visitor or student, and then creating a free access plan link and sending it to friends and family to test out your online course website.